On this edition of On Record, Elbit Systems' battle management application is used in the latest NATO drill. And a new AI system for assault rifles has game-changing potential. Hello, I'm Lauren Izzo, and we are On Record. It was a strong second quarter of 2021 for Elbit Systems. The company reported 21% revenue growth and 26% growth in its backlog that reached a record $13.6 billion at the end of June. Elbit Systems president and CEO Butsi Machlis highlighted the diversification of growth across the company's areas of operations and geographies that reflects successful implementation of the strategy and provides confidence in the company's future. In July, Elbit Systems received a significant vote of confidence from its investors, raising $584 million in three series of notes that will trade on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. The tenders were significantly oversubscribed with demand that was 2.9 times the initial offering size. Elbit Systems UK successfully concluded its participation in a NATO exercise in Poland, where its battle management technology was used by the UK Armed Forces. During the Coalition Warrior Interoperability Exercise 2021, the Torch X-based battle management application was deployed to support UK higher headquarters preparedness activities for Five Eyes and NATO operations. The drill involved 28 nations conducting more than 10,000 interoperability tests across multiple domains. Elbit Systems UK was selected by the UK MOD in 2018 to provide the British Army with the Torch X C2 platform. The company recently delivered the 11th software drop of the BMA ahead of schedule. An unmanned aerial system designed and produced by Elbit Systems is helping to monitor deforestation in the Amazon. The Hermes 900, often an intelligence and surveillance vehicle, is equipped with a multispectral payload, able to produce multispectral visualization for environmental surveillance. Just a few years ago in 2016, the drone was used by the Brazilian Air Force to monitor and secure the 2016 Olympics. With flight endurance of up to 30 hours, the Hermes 900 can monitor vast areas. As wildfires raged in Greece, Israel dispatched some air assistance to help contain the blaze. Two firefighting aircrafts of the Israeli Firefighting Squadron, operated by Elbit Systems, have joined the efforts, in addition to land firefighters already deployed there. Since its establishment over a decade ago, the Aerial Firefighting Squadron has implemented advanced technologies, including an Elbit Systems C2 system, interconnecting first responders in the air and on the ground with a tablet or smartphone. Squadron pilots perform an average of 200 fire extinguishing missions during each fire season and have accumulated over 15,000 flight hours to date. Israel's ambassador to Greece, Yossi Amrani, calling the move yet another expression of the friendship between the people of Israel and Greece and the strong cooperation between the two countries. After asking infantry soldiers and commanders what they are missing on the battlefield, Elbit Systems is launching Arcas, a one-of-a-kind AI-powered solution. Like something out of a video game, Arcas is a computerized AI-powered platform for assault rifles. The system interfaces with the rifle's electro-optical sight with a helmet-mounted eyepiece and with the rifle's assemblies, providing soldiers with real-time, actionable combat information. The platform can perform passive range measurement, automatic ballistic correction, detection of fire sources, and even gives infantry soldiers the ability to shoot around the corner and from the hip. The combat information received and processed by the system is presented to the soldier as an intuitive augmented reality layer on top of the scenery that is seen through the electro-optic sight or the helmet-mounted eyepiece. Adapting to customer requirements, Arcas can run additional and third-party applications depending on the operational needs. Arcas is a computerized platform capable of uh, being adapted to any weapon, any assault rifle that the customer has. Arcas was developed based on a lessons that we have learned from our customers and after a long discussions with infantry soldiers. And that's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, you can visit our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And don't forget to let us know what you think. I'm Lauren Izzo. Thanks for watching.